Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Basic Breakdown. I'm here in the filming studio at Massive Joe's headquarters with the resident purveyor of the world's finest pre-workouts, Vincenzo. What's going on? Vince, we got a little reformulation. We do. In the yes. house for this episode of Basic Breakdown from Axe and Sledge. Ignition switch is back. Now we're not calling this V2, we're not calling this... Nah. 2021, oh. you know, they haven't changed the name. This is just uh, ignition switch, but it is a reformulation from the original. For the Australian market, I think they still have Dynamite available. I'm not 100% sure. Oh. But I think it's just for the Australian market. Okay. Don't quote me on that because I'm well, not 100%. Well, listen, we're reviewing the ignition switch that we have in our hands here at the moment. Yes. And the primary purpose for the reformulation, which probably ties into what you're saying, yeah. is uh, in November 2020, the Therapeutic Goods Administration here in Australia effectively banned Dynamine. Yes. Which is, uh, 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 for all intents and purposes, a stimulant-based yeah. ingredient. Banned. Can't use it in any products anymore. It was in the original ignition switch. Yep. Ignition switch got, got taken off the market because of the Dynamine. Action Sledge have reformulated and brought the new version of ignition switch, which is Dynamine free, yep. but then also does have some other tweaks in there as well, Vince. It does, yes. Let's dive in. So from the top, one scoop is five grams, mm -hmm. and there's 40 serves per tub. So that's a, an immediate change. Before it was 20 or 40, they've just yeah. gone to the 40 serves they, per tub. They've gone to the 40. You know what I want to do here, though, Vince? Yes. Uh, for, for, because I know that a lot of the viewers are, are going to want to compare immediately to the original. Yeah. Right? And in the original, yes. we reviewed the two scoop, 20 serve. Okay. So yeah. I think where, you know, even though the nutritional panel you guys are going to see is the one scoop and there is no option anymore for the two, we're just going to say, fuck the beat, go acapella, we're going to double everything and pretend that it's two scoops. Let's do it. Thoughts? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Done. So from the top, mm. uh, we have some thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, vitamin B12. So your full spectrum B vitamins to, yeah. to you know stabilize the energy levels. Then we get into the good stuff. Yeah. So some L-citrulline mm -hmm. in a 5,000 milligram dose or five gram dose. Good. Uh, increase in nitric oxide production and vasodilation in there for muscle pumps. Muscle pumps, and that's a good dose in, it the, is. in the two scoops. Yeah. Uh, you know, your, your kind of efficacious dose is 4,000 milligrams. So we've got yeah. over and above that. Yes. Mm. Then we get into some bitter alanine, mm -hmm. as carnosine bitter, uh, carnosine bitter alanine yep. in the uh, 1,600 milligram dose. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of underdose there. About 50% um, underdose, Vince. In that it help, yeah, well, yeah. in that it help reduce fatigue. Yeah, it's a, it's a muscular endurance ingredient, but it really needs to be dosed at least 3.2 grams. Yep. Uh, in the two scoop serve, we only have 1.6, so we're about halfway to where we need to be. Yes. Then we have some beet juice powder yep. in the 500 milligram dose or 1,000 milligram dose, sorry, in the mm. two scoop serve. Mm. Um, which beet juice powder is said to have a high nitrate content. Yeah. So in there for muscle pumps as well. The only problem with beet juice powder, and we see a lot of people switching to a bit of Olgaris now, which is mm. essentially the same thing. Yeah. We don't notice that the, how much nitrate is in a powdered version. We of that. don't. It's not standardized for, no. for betaine nitrate. It's not standardized for betaine anhydrous. Yeah. It's the natural form of those ingredients. But without knowing the standardization, you know, we, we could have um, 10,000 milligrams in there. Yeah. And it could yield very small amounts of the active ingredients we're looking for. So we can't really comment on the beet juice powder without knowing what the standardization is. No, yeah. Then we get into some agmatine sulfate in mm. the 500 milligram dose. Yep. Uh, in there to help stop the breakdown of nitric oxide. So you're going to pair well with your citrulline. It is. In there as well. It is. Uh, not a bad dose. Not a bad dose, 500 milligrams. We, we like to see it around 750 milligrams to 1,000 milligrams. Yeah. We're at 500, so it's not quite in that efficacious dosing range, but it is still going to be effective, and it is an ingredient that does have synergism with nitric oxide boosters like our citrulline. It is, So yeah. you are going to get some, uh, some prolonging of the muscle pumps. We then get into some caffeine anhydrous mm. in the 300 milligram dose. So this is your main stimulant in yep. there as well now, yep. especially now that dynamine has gone. Yes. They have tweaked this a little bit as well, which we'll get into in a minute. Yep. Um, but yeah, 300 milligrams there. Big dose. It is. Big dose. Big dose. Then we get into some choline by tartrate mm. in the uh, 150. 150 milligram dose. Yeah. Uh, 
which is in there to help cognitive function, but at that dose, you're probably not going to get a lot. Uh, yeah, I mean, man, choline, col well, you've got to be at like two grams plus. Yeah, especially with like heart rate. Yeah, um, well, that's what I mean with that, yeah. with that uh, form of choline, which is notoriously non-bioavailable. You've got to have a big dose, and, and 150 is just not going to get it done. No. We then get into some Infinergy, so you die caffeine malate in yep. the 100 milligram dose. Mm -hmm. um, so this yields 75%, so you're looking at 75 milligrams there. Extra caffeine. Extra caffeine. So we at 375 375. Now. Woo! And that's probably the biggest change they've taken. Take out your dynamine, mm. and they put your Infinergy in instead. So they've actually lowered the overall caffeine per scoop, yep. um, but added the Infinergy, which then brings your caffeine back up. Yeah, so it's kind of, they've gone from, uh, well, they've gone to more of like a sustained release, yeah. sustained energy formula by splitting the caffeine into anhydrous and then uh, the Infinergy, which tends to last a bit longer. Yeah, they have. Yeah. Um, and with that, then is uh, teocrine yep. at a 300 milligram dose, um, which essentially teocrine is going to smooth out the effects of caffeine mm. and also give it a longer lasting oh, effect. You as said well. 300 milligrams, Vince? Is it 300? No, it's 50. Oh, what 50. You talking about? I put an extra zero on there. Yeah, I see that. Like, uh, well, yeah, so 50 milligrams, sorry. Now, hold on a where, second. Where have I gone wrong? Hold on a second. There's a mistake on this label. No, that's right. No, that's right. I stuffed up. That's my bad. My nose but how can, hold on a second, Vince. Yeah. How can theocrine, 25 milligrams, yielding 40% teocrine, yield 40% of 25 is not 20? That's a very good point. So I reckon there's a mistake on this label. There's a mistake on the label. I agree with you. Axe and sledge, fix your shit. It's got to be done. Let's do it. All yeah. right. So what are we doing here? Are we going, are we going 20 milligrams? We're going 25. Well, I'm going to... Stumped. Yeah. Let's go to 20, because I'm going to assume the yield is correct, and they've probably just got the, the total amount of theocrine incorrect. Yeah, probably, I reckon. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, that's hard. Yeah, it's a tricky one. It's a, it's a hard Let's one. go with theocrine. Let's go with theocrine. So 40% yielding uh, 40 milligrams in a two-scoop serve. Yeah, there you go. Let's mm. do that. So 40 milligrams of theocrine yeah. in there. It's going to help pair out the caffeine mm -hmm. and give it a longer-lasting effect. Yeah, yeah. Small dose, though. Then we get into the tooth club moss, mm. which is your hypersin in A, mm. and that is in there at the 25 microgram dose, so 50 micrograms, sorry, for the two scoop serve. Yep. Um, which is helps stop the breakdown of acetylcholine. So you're gonna pair it with your choline bitartrate, mm -hmm. but not having much of that anyway, it's probably not gonna do a lot. Yeah, agreed. Uh, Vince, man, uh, like, wh where do we go with this formula? I guess, uh, you know, let's do what we usually do. Yeah. Let's stack it up against the five effects that we look for in complete stim-based pre-workouts. The first one is muscle pumps. I'll give it a tick for that. I'll give with it a, a tick as well. Big dose I of think the big dose of citrulline and the reasonable agmatine. dose of agmatine, you get yeah. a tick for muscle pumps. Let's go muscular endurance. Half a tick for half a serve? Yeah, I think so. I yeah. think so. So at one and a half out of two. Muscle power. Wait for the crickets to play over. Yeah, nothing. Yeah. One and a half out of three. Mental focus. Same. Not not much. Your choline and hypersin aren't going to do anything, really. So I wouldn't even yeah, give a Yeah, the, the doses are just way They're too small. Too so 1.5 out of four and then five energy. Energy is good. So you get two, you, go, you, go, you go two and a half ticks yeah. out of five yeah. when we look at the five effects that we look for in complete stimulant-based pre-workouts. Yeah. I mean, you know, to be fair to Axe and Sledge, that is kind of how this product is marketed. It is, yeah. It's primarily an energy-based pre-workout with some muscle pump. Yeah. And, you know, they're not really saying it's going to do a whole lot else. Um, which is good because it's, it's really not. Yeah. You know, if, if you're interested in energy, if you're interested in pumps, ignition switch is going to get it done. If you're more interested in uh, power, endurance, mental focus, probably not the pre-workout for you. No. Where are we at in terms of flavors, price, availability, Vince? So flavors in the blue raspberry ice, which is the one I held up earlier. Yeah. The scorpion venom, shark bite, unicorn blood, and watermelon lemonade. Okay, good spread. Yeah. Good spread. I like and it. And that's the, the ice, it's the icy yes. uh, ice blue is. raspberry. Now. Yes. Mm. And we're looking at 69.95, so same price as before. Yeah. And if you're going by the 20 serves, you're looking at three bucks. It's three, yeah, 350 a serve. A source on the price? A bit expensive for the formula if you're going yeah. for the two scoop serve. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. I think it, it, you know, if you compare it to, I mean, if there was if there was sixty scoops, thirty two scoop serves. Yeah. Then you'd probably go, yeah, sixty nine ninety five yeah. is okay. But based on that formula and the amount of serves, it's probably a little bit above where it needs to be. I would like to see it around like the fifty nine ninety five mark. I agree. Um, yeah. Or more serves per tub to kind of push it into that bracket where where it justifies sixty nine ninety five. Yeah. 
Available now, Vince. Available now. Reformulated yep. version. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? That's it. Before I tell the viewers to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel, guys. Don't forget to turn your post notifications on, on your mobile, your cell phone, your desktop PC, and whatever other device you are watching this video on. Guys, that is basic breakdown on the all new reformulated axe and sledge ignition switch high stim pre-workout. Until next time, where we come to and from Vince. Massivejoes.com. Stay massive. Thank you for tuning in to this video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to check out our latest upload and our recommended video and be sure to subscribe to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel to stay up to date with all of our latest uploads.